Welcome to this episode of A Real Change TV. Hey, it's Sandy Krakowski, CEO and founder of A Real Change International. Grab your pen and paper. I'm really excited to share with you some video tips that you can use on Facebook to do some amazing marketing with the people on your business page. We're going to talk about what to wear and what not to wear. Just like the old TV show, What Not to Wear. I don't even know. Is it still on? I used to watch it all the time. First tip of what not to wear. Number one thing you have to be careful of is that your shirt is not like massively busy and clashing with the background that you're with. You've got to make sure if you've got flowers or any other kind of props that you don't have a total clash going on. Write this down. You're wearing the room. So wear it well, my friends. Your shirt, the room around you, props, etc., are just like jewelry. Gentlemen, this even goes for you. If you're going to wear a plaid shirt, make sure that if you're sitting on a couch, there's not a flowered pillow right next to you. Make sure as well, if you're going to wear like a sweater with a plaid collar coming out, that there's not a picture behind you with flowers, something like that. Watch as well that you don't have a lamp growing out of your head. Those are some of the biggest tips of what not to wear. Remember, you're wearing the room. Now what to wear? Write this down. Get to know your personal colors. Here's a website for you. It's color, K-U-L-E-R dot adobe.com. I want you to get familiar with this website. It's not only going to help you with your graphics, the colors that you put through your blog, but it's going to help you look really, really good when you're on camera because you're going to begin to see some colors just clash. I obviously have pink in my hair, so there's certain colors that I'm never going to wear on video because it would look pathetic. Mustard green would probably be one of them. You want to make sure Again, everything that you have into the video is not clashing or contrasting. The third tip that I want you to remember is dress professionally. Make sure that you put your best face forward and that means you might need a little bit of a makeup job. Gentlemen, even you could use a little bit of a dusting. I want you to go to a friend of mine. Her website is coachglitter.com. She actually does Skype consults. They're only $75 an hour and if you're very serious about doing video marketing, I highly recommend you spend one hour with her to learn how to do your makeup. When we get into this HD format, trust me, I look pretty awesome for 49 years old but put me on HD and Lord have mercy thank you for makeup so here's your tips again make sure that you pay attention you're wearing the room make sure your outfit does not clash make sure number two all of your colors are complementing who you are your hair color your complexion etc and tip number three makeup does go a long way in an HD environment is going to make you look even better next week we're going to have more video tips on how to directly speak to many just like you're talking to one. I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day, you guys. <laughs>